Yo, what's up, physics fam? This is Mr. Vankovich coming at you with another popping physics tutorial. Today's video is going to be about calculating in Google Sheets. This is a great scale to carry with you. It's something that's pretty easy to do once you know how to do it, and it's gonna let you do some math way, way faster than you could have any other way. Let's get right into it. For this demo, I am going to use this made up data set. I don't know, let's pretend that it was some type of velocity lab where we you know, measured a distance, timed something moving across that distance, and we wanted to calculate the velocities as well as some other values. The first functionality I would like to show you is how to use built-in features and functions in Google Sheets. So one of those would be like totaling, finding the sum. Another example would be finding the average. So let's pretend I wanted to figure out what the total distance was in centimeters, and I wanted it in this box. I would go up here, uh, this window is where you would input all of that functionality. Um, you start with the equal sign. The equal sign tells you you're about to do some math. You can see that um, Google is already filling this in, but I'll show you what to do anyways. Um, to find a total, basically you are summing. So I would say, you know, this equals the sum. I then open the parenthesis and I tell it what I want it to sum or add up. So I want to grab all of these cells. To grab all of those cells, I'm going to shift click and that will grab all of them. If I command clicked, that would let me sort of grab individual ones, but because I want the whole row, I shift click. Um, and then I just need to close the parentheses. So I have showed this basically that what's going in this box equals the sum function of C4 to C8. I then press return and it gives me my total value. Um, let's pretend now that, you know, maybe I measured the distance in centimeters, but I wanted to convert it to meters. So this would kind of be like doing math with some of the values from the cells. So if I want to basically convert from centimeters to meters, I'm dividing by 100. So in this cell right here, I would say this cell equals, then I open parenthesis, the value in this cell just divided by 100 and then I would close the parenthesis and I'm telling it to, you know, take the number next door, divide it by 100, which is how you convert from centimeters to meters. I press return and we are there. Um, this is asking me to autofill. I'm actually not going to do that. I mean, if you want to just autofill, it's totally fine. But I also can just grab here and click down and it will do the same math for every cell that I select. I'm going to do one more quick sort of just calculation with the... Um, with a built-in functionality here. Let's pretend I wanted to find the average of all my time. So I'd click on the cell. Once again, go up, hit equals. It already knows what I want. Um, average would be the functionality here, open parentheses. And then I want, yes, E4 to E8. Um, and it will close all the parentheses, autocomplete for me, press return, and boom, I would have my average time, right? So we've used the, the sum function to get the total. I've used the average function to get other totals. The last thing I would like to show you is how to do math sort of with cells. So if I wanted to calculate the velocity, um, I would basically need to do distance divided by time. So to find the velocity in this box, once again, I would do equals, open parentheses, and then I would want to divide the number in this column, by the number in that column. I then close the parenthesis, press return, and it has calculated the velocity for this box. Uh, once again, if I wanted to calculate the velocities for everywhere, I would just click on the corner, drag down, and it gives me all of that, and I have done everything that I needed to do.